Hey guys, I am back finally. I feel like I haven't filmed in forever, but hopefully I'm going to make that up to you today because I have an Alice in Wonderland themed makeup video for you. Um, I came across a company called Venomous Cosmetics. It is run by one lady named Tracy out in Florida, and she named her company Venomous Cosmetics because she is a huge fan of all those creepy crawly critters um, and a couple of them are actually her pets. So she's a lover of snakes, tarantulas, scorpions, jellyfish, um, huge fan of all kinds of um, creepy critters. And so she based a lot of her colors on those guys. Now, sometimes she does come out with collections based on movies, um, based on video games, things like that. And the one that caught my attention was the Alice in Wonderland collection that she came out with. Um, there are loose shadows that go along with this collection. However, what intrigued me the most uh, that made me want to try her company was the fact that she's an indie brand and she makes pressed solid eyeshadows. And I had never come across that before um, in this type of a different mm, way of selling eyeshadows because you can pick from a full size or you can pick a sample size of the pressed shadow. I'd never seen that before. So first of all, I'm gonna show you the difference between a full size. So here's a quarter and here is a full size eyeshadow. And then here is a dime, and this is a sample press shadow, okay? So um, that'll give you a little bit of an idea on the size. The other interesting thing is the fact that these little guys and the um, full-size shadows come to you just like this. They don't come in a palette. Um, what I ended up doing was purchasing a Z palette, which I'm going to show you now. So this is the palette that I purchased. I think it's zpalette.com, but I will definitely leave the website down below. I believe this is the small size, and I think it was around $14. But as far as Z palette goes, I'm very impressed with this. Um, I know, isn't it shocking that I chose a zebra print? Weird, right? Anyway, um, but the plastic on the outside is very heavy duty. It's not flimsy, which I really like because I feel like I could actually take this somewhere. And if something hits my palette, it's not going to break my shadows on the inside. So um, these are all um, magnetized as you can see and Z palette will actually send along a couple of magnetic backings that you could stick onto these pans if they didn't stick to the magnet themselves um, but these puppies are not going anywhere as you can see so what I purchased are the Alice in Wonderland colors right here and these are again the two full size and then there are four sample sizes because I wanted to give those a shot and then she also sent along a couple of samples that were pressed because I told her that I had purchased a Z palette so just so you guys are aware the palette comes separate from the little colors okay the colors come in a tiny ziploc baggie and she packages everything with bubble wrap so that it ships to you really well and doesn't crack um so yeah uh pretty impressed with that um now as far as the colors go this is the Alice in Wonderland collection here. And these are just the pressed shadows of the Alice in Wonderland. There are loose ones. I just, I didn't purchase them because I have quite a few loose shadows. I just wanted to try out her um, pressed ones. Um, some of the colors you do have to build up to um, full opacity. I feel like you have to... Um, kind of really pat them on there in order to not get a sheer wash of color. Um, you can see some of my swatches here. Like this is the darkest one. This is the Cheshire Cat. And it is the sparkly dark purple. This was actually very sheer um, the first couple times, first couple swipes with my brush. So, um, you know, they look very dark. Some of them are, some of them aren't. Um, eventually, though, you do get to a color that you like. I have done my eyes today. I have the lightest blue all over the lid. I have the green in kind of the crease blended out. 
I have the pink um, on my lower lash line and I have the very dark blue um, kind of in the outer corners here. So, um, you know, you can definitely get some good color coverage from these guys. It just takes a little bit more. Um, so I really did enjoy them. Uh, the colors here are the Cheshire Cat, the Walrus. Um, this one is Alice. Whoops. Whoa, there it goes. That's Alice, the light blue. Caterpillar's Wisdom is the green. Unbirthday Party is the pink, and I always forget the dark blue one, which is down the rabbit hole. So those are in the Alice Wonderland collection. You can still find these on the website right now. Um, any of you looking at my eyeshadow might think that, hmm, that's kind of dupable, and it kind of is, because if you own Sugar Pills Heartbreaker Palette, looks like this. Those colors look a bit familiar, don't they? Um, so if you already have the Heartbreaker palette, you might not need to purchase the Alice in Wonderland collection, but if you're interested, then definitely check out uh, VenomousCosmetics.com because they are quite fun. The only thing that I can think of um, that might be a little bit difficult for these little guys, if you're someone who does not like using makeup brushes, if you are more of a person who likes to use their fingers to apply their eyeshadow, these might be a little bit difficult. I don't have like super big hands or anything. It's kind of hard to like get enough on your fingertip there um, to get enough you know, color to actually put it on. So I don't know many people who use their fingers to put their makeup on. I know a couple people and uh, you might have some difficulty with that. Also, the sample shades are not all completely full. If you can look at the side of the pan there, it's not up to the top and that's because I'm sure that these are all filled by the weight of the colors. So, um, but I mean, you still do get quite a bit um, in the sample size. It's enough to try it out to see if you like it. Um, I will leave the prices down below because I can't remember off the top of my head how much they were. And she also sent along a lip poison. And this is her lip gloss. This is a little guy, as you can see, which is very nice. There's no scent, there's no flavor. This is a very um, kind of bubblegum pink lip gloss. I'm wearing it today and I feel like it's pretty opaque. It's almost like um, a liquid lipstick type of coverage and the swatch for that is right here. Now this is from her new collection. She has a um, Super Mario Brothers collection I think that just came out and this is in the color Power Up. So um, again no scent, no flavor and I think the word lip poison might be a little bit um, confusing only because I would have thought that this might have been like a limp pl lip plumper. You know, you kind of would have thought that it would be that tingly sensation, but it's not. And I actually like that because sometimes those tingly lip glosses really just annoy the heck out of my mouth. So I like it. I'm a fan. Um, and this actually does last quite a while. So if you're interested in checking out any of her lip products, I would definitely recommend these because I think that the coverage and the wear is definitely on the up and up. So to go along with our Alice in Wonderland themed video, like I say, if I can find a book that goes along with some of the collections that I'm talking about, I'm going to feature it. And the book that I'm going to show you today is one that I am very nearly done with and very ready for the second one to come out. This is Splintered by A.G. Howard. It's a very good book. Hang on a minute. It is young adult. I don't read a lot of young adult. Um, I think the last young adult book I read was probably Hunger Games, so you know that was back in the day. Um, but I have really enjoyed this a lot. This is a dark retelling of Alice in Wonderland. Um, and basically, it's about... Um, you know, Lewis Carroll's original story. Uh, the girl on the cover here is Alyssa, and she is the great, 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 great granddaughter of um, the original Alice Liddell, who Lewis Carroll based Alice in Wonderland on. And for the most part, all the women in her family have been kind of kooky, kind of mad. And she needs to break the curse and go back into Underland 
slash Wonderland. And it's a great story. If you feel like checking it out, I definitely would. Um, it is young adult, but I don't feel like the writing is very immature. I've really enjoyed it. Um, and I'm almost through with it, as you can see. It's a very good book. I'm waiting for the second one. I believe this is, I don't know if it's a trilogy or if it's going to be like a full series, but there is at least a second one go that's going to be coming out soon. So check out Splintered. Very good. Highly recommend the book. Um, all of the creatures in Alice in Wonderland are much darker, much creepier. Uh, this definitely has a creepy feel. So if you're not into a lot of paranormal um, feeling creepy while you're reading it kind of stories, you might not like this. But um, the retelling of Alice in Wonderland is one I could not pass up, so I am recommending it to you guys. So if you have any questions, any comments, please go ahead, feel free to leave them below for me. I will be back soon with a couple of new videos. I know I have been absent for a little while, um, but I actually just got back from visiting family and friends in Chicago for my cousin Stephanie's graduation. Very proud of her. Graduated high school. Hooray! You're done. Um, so just got back from that. So exciting, fun things happening. And uh, I hope fun and exciting things are happening for you guys. And I will talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye.